G'day legends, Rana here from The Influencer Project and today I wanna to talk to you about the three P's to generating more business via LinkedIn. And this comes from a client who was having a bit of a challenge the other day when we jumped on a call around how to turn their engagement into something that is profitable and actually makes money. They were actually putting a lot of things out there. They were getting great engagement, people were talking, people were liking, people were commenting, people were sharing, but it wasn't actually leading to any revenue growth opportunity. So how do you create content? How do you be present and yet still monetize via social media like LinkedIn? So I'm gonna give you a couple of strategies as to how to do that right now today. So the first thing we need to look at is when you check out something like this little triangle that we've got here, inside of this triangle, you need to consider what the platform is. The platform really is there to do one thing and to do one thing only, which is to build community. Building the community is essential to any business. A lot of people will go off and create all this great infrastructure and then realize they actually haven't been able to you generate a community first, which means they've got to pay a lot of money in advertising, they've got to pay a lot of money in generating leads and trying to buy the relationship because they haven't done the work to create a community first. So a platform like LinkedIn is great because you can start talking to your perfect target market, connecting with them and building the start of a relationship that down the track will have real value to you and your business. So the first thing is to start building that relationship. The next thing is to know what problem you solve. People go, oh yes, I do know what problem I solve. And when you ask someone like an account, what problem do you solve? It's usually a very generic response. The first answer is a very generic response. Something like, oh, I help people, you know, I help businesses keep their finances in order. Well, great. Now you were to solve a generic problem with a generic solution. So you're a me too professional in a space where you're trying to stand out. It's never gonna work and you're only gonna be disappointed. We need to really craft what that problem is that you solve. Get super clear on it and make sure based on who you're targeting in your platform, that that problem is actually something that they have, that they experience, that they're challenged with, and that they truly need help with. And the next thing is to know that you can actually solve that problem. So what happens is once you've got your problem, we then need to come up with a promise. What is the promise that you deliver to someone when they ask for your help, when they say that they're interested? Are you clear on how you deliver your promise? Are you clear on the steps that you take to take someone from interested to committed, to create the relationship? But at the end, it's obviously about monetizing that relationship. If you're solving a problem, you deserve to be compensated. But rather than go from A to B, it's not very linear. We need to actually introduce something called a call to action and interest, where someone has a problem. You identify that problem by putting an offer out there. It could be to a training, it could be to a one-on-one -on -one consultation, it could be to ebook or something that actually has you take the relationship from someone who you don't know very well to someone that you know a little better. You might have a bit more personal data now name, email, phone number, or even on LinkedIn, pick up the phone and have a chat with them. It's not a sales conversation, it's just to learn more about them, to discover what their problem is. And again, the problem, because once you know what the problem is, you can then capture that interest and then talk to them about the promise that you offer. So this is the big difference psych psychologically. People always look to convert. They don't look to collaborate. When I've ever bought something, when I've ever looked to make a buying decision, the one thing that I've always said in my mind was, I need to know A, what the benefit is to me, and B, will what this person's offering help me get what I want? I actually wasn't interested in necessarily what they were offering. It just was a mechanism for me to get what I wanted as the consumer a little quicker, a little easier, and a little faster. And that's a promise that we'll deliver every time. So the big question is, how does what you do solve a problem? And when you identify that there is a problem and an opportunity for you to help, how do you offer the promise to take that person on a journey from interested in what you do to committed to what you do? So feel free to post below, happy to weigh in on a conversation and chat to you a little bit about it further. But in the meantime, thanks for joining me for this daily tip and we'll catch you next time.